long time ago, somebody did an inception on you. Somebody planted a seed you don't even realize was planted and you've been dealing with the full grown fruit, the full grown tree of that idea. Quick shout out to everybody on Patreon. We just watched a movie as a group called Inception. We had movie night for the first time on Patreon. There are so many gems, especially in regards to what we talk about on Pretty Boss TV that was prevalent in this movie. We're gonna be having another live upcoming to talk about certain concepts in here that I'm making a PDF about that I'll be able to share and dive into. And that's the reason that I'm using this term, Inception. For those of you who this is for, I want y'all to understand what I'm trying to say. An idea we can also see as a belief ideas and beliefs are seeds and every seed that is planted and allowed to go through your mind from your conscious to your subconscious every seed that is planted in your mind guess what it does it grows and again these are seeds that are planted because there are many seeds that are given but if you're not allowing them to take root then they fall to the wayside many people do that with the scripture many people read the bible it's like I, I don't hear nothing i don't get it doesn't make any sense that seed gets scorched it doesn't even do anything then you have others who take time to continue to dedicate as holy spirit for insight and guidance and as they start to read them scriptures it starts to open up like a otherworldly super multi-dimensional multi-faceted book with so many different ways that you can get different types of revelation in this way the seed that was planted in you was one that was destructive something that somebody told you or did to you and told you with just their actions and not words changed who you are until today there is a lie that you're believing or have believed for a very long time that you don't even realize because it was planted so long ago that affects your everyday actions it affects the way that you look at yourself it affects the relationship that you have with yourself for some of you this is even a relationship that you have with your physical self your physical body for some of you this is your mind your way of thinking your intelligence for some of you this is who you are spiritually some of you this was a situation that you encountered and this could have been something that happened during childhood so of course this could be something that happened with your primary caregivers parents or this could be something that happened with one of your relationships your first relationships that you had early in your life before having having more relationship experiences and there is something that this person did or said to you that you still have not shaken that is still inside of you and you're not realizing is expressing itself and manifesting itself in different ways in your life it's almost like somebody put something inside of you that has been a stronghold that has been keeping you away from something that you truly want even let's say this is in regards to relationship there's something somebody said to you a long time ago that really or did to you that really crushed your self-esteem or crushed your ability to trust completely changed your way that you look at people or look at the opposite sex it could be that the very thing that you do want is a real relationship the very thing that you want is to have a purpose partner to have somebody in life with who you don't have to do it alone with when we out here doing light work that's already a task in itself we're already dealing with all types of spiritual warfare as scripture tells us two is better than one and a threefold cord is not quickly broken when we're talking about two we're talking about us and another and when we're talking about that threefold cord we're talking about two people who come together with god at the top of that pyramid in God. That's a threefold cord that cannot be quickly broken at all, okay? For those of you, for instance, this is somebody that you dealt with. This could have been somebody that cheated on you. And it could have been that you internalized this to the point where it has been affecting the way that you truly see yourself till today. You could be the most beautiful person, whether this is inside out, personality-wise, physically, and you don't see it because of something that somebody did to you or said to you a long time ago. The thing about this message is you're getting ready to address that root. There's some seed inside of you that has to be extracted and you're gonna see that as soon as this seed which is no longer a seed but it's actually a whole tree for some of y'all a whole garden as soon as you pinpoint that seed that was planted and this is gonna come to some of you if you spend time during prayer meditation some of you there's gonna be something that just comes back to you all of a sudden in the form of a memory some of you are gonna get this in the form of a dream this is gonna be showing what it is to you that is taking such deep root in you that has been affecting so many different areas of your life the thing about this is when this is exposed to you this is gonna change everything completely everything Thing, you're gonna see that it was just one seed one blockage that was affecting so many aspects of your life some of you this has you i want to say almost like with a chip on your shoulder in regards to life some of you this just has you on edge some of you deal with an anxiety 
that is so subtle and so deep that you don't even realize that you have anxiety. Most of the time when we think of people with anxiety, we think of people having panic attacks. I had a friend a long time ago that had anxiety at one point. Her mom was like, can you come pray for her? And after two weeks, them anxiety attacks didn't come back till today, as much as I'm aware of. That's one form of anxiety, but the type of anxiety that you deal with is a lot more subtle. Many of you who are watching this, you wouldn't even consider yourself somebody who's anxious or has anxiety, but there's something that is always just lingering in the background that's making you either feel that you're not good enough that you're not worthy that you're not ready or that you'll never have something because you don't have the capability of it and this is something that for some of you that a parent told you or for some of you this is something that an ex lover told you even a friend for some of you that has been sticking with you till today and it happened so long ago you don't even remember it some of you probably never even made the correlation but that is getting ready to be revealed to you if it is not for those of you who are watching this and that has been revealed allow yourself to go back into that time and allow yourself to feel the way that you felt some of you as I'm saying this message you are thinking exactly about the moment that something happened or somebody said something to you where your life forever changed your outlook forever changed it was traumatizing even if you didn't realize it at the time there are some things that we go through and we realize immediately trauma but then there's other things that you go through and because it doesn't look like a certain type of abuse that is overt you don't realize you've just been traumatized whenever this comes to you even for those of you who are watching this where you're aware of what this is instead of me saying this holy spirit is reminding you inside of yourself allow yourself to go back to that moment and feel the way that you felt when it happened any memories that you have some of you are going to be able to see this in your mind like yesterday you'll be able to even see the outfit that you had on especially if this was something that did traumatize you on a level a lot of times that's when you know you've been traumatized a lot of times in trauma you're going to remember certain details that you usually wouldn't remember in other situations go to that space fill it allow any questions that come up Listen to yourself. Listen to your heart because your heart is going to have messages about it. Remember that video I did on the 828 podcast called Your Heart is a Portal. We've been nurturing the portal of our hearts because that is what's opening everything for us during this time, especially the chosen ones. Our heart portals are even connecting together. We're creating a completely different world down here. Heaven on earth, for real, for real. And you're going to see as you allow this to transform and transmute, there are going to be certain questions that come to you, but there are also going to be certain answers and there are going to be certain resolutions and you're going to be able to release this seed that was planted long ago you're gonna be able to burn that forest down this is gonna change everything you're gonna see that when you actually do this and you do it correctly meaning it's been effective you're gonna see that so many other areas of your life open up your perspective the way that you interact with others the way that you think you're gonna see even your defensiveness some of you are very defensive about certain things and it's because of something that somebody said or did long ago it's time to let that go on for many of you who this is for it's just one little thing you're gonna trip out when you remember what it is because some of you would think like I can't believe that has been the thing that's been holding me some of you know what it is and you're thinking about it but you just don't realize that it's been having that much of an impact on your life and it has so it's time to deal with that one last little thing because you're gonna see and essentially in a way this is almost gonna feel like it changes your entire personality at least the way that you feel when you're interacting with other people at least the way that you feel about the world you're gonna feel a lot more free you're gonna feel a lot more open you're gonna feel unburdened and you're gonna feel like life is a beautiful thing there's nothing that you have to be afraid of because things are truly always working out for you because you are blessed you're worthy you're loved you're all of those great things if you would like to book personal prophetic guidance with me you can visit prettybosstv.com and if you would love to join our lovely community of chosen ones where we're getting it in all i'm gonna say is we have plenty of fun things that we've done on there but it's a lot more in store for 2024 that we've never done on patreon for any of you but it's been around i even forgot this is patreon's anniversary month february this is our seventh or eighth year on patreon so this isn't something i just picked up and do we dedicated to Patreon right here. That's where the family gets down. Come join us. All of my links are in the description. I greatly appreciate your love donations. Thank you for your cash up. All of you are the best. I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all willing. Peace.